Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start with Empyreon Galactic Survival. This is an open world space sandbox survival adventure. Here you'll build powerful ships, mighty space stations, and vast planetary settlements. Follow your greed and explore, conquer, or exploit a variety of different planets and discover strangest mysteries. You will have to fight alien, human, and other biological hazards and survive in a hostile galaxy full of hidden dangers. You can play as a lonely potato or team up with your friends, build new friendships, create alliances, or make war to conquer the solar system. The title combines elements from space simulations, construction games, survival games, and various shooters. About 80% of the reviews on Steam are positive, people say that the gameplay is way better than it looks, and that is always a good sign. Although many players are bashing the difficulty level of the game, some enemies are overpowered, and also the learning curve is pretty steep. The Expanse, a Telltale series. If you like science fiction but never watched The Expanse TV show, well, you should. These are one of the best sci-fi series ever made. Although at first you may be overwhelmed by the count of the characters and political intrigues, don't, don't give up. The show really delivers if you stick to it. And this is Telltale's take on this wonderful world and story. Here you'll explore the dangerous and uncharted edges of the belt. From scavenging wrecked ships in zero-g environment to surviving a mutiny or fighting fearsome pirates, you will have have to make difficult choices and then suffer the consequences. You will scour shipwrecks, use magnetic boots to walk on walls and ceilings, and utilize zero-g thrusters to flow through the void. As you explore mysterious ships and the open expanse of space, you will interact with objects in the world and speak with members of your crew. The game consists of five episodes, so plenty of mind food for you. Nobody saves the world. When an ancient calamity reawakens, who can save the world? And the answer is… nobody! That's you, you are nobody! Not in real life, in real life you are an awesome beautiful person, never doubt that. Now subscribe. So here you'll master the art of transformation to become a slug, ghost, dragon, a horse or someone else. Like an egg for example. Actually here you'll find more than 15 distinct forms you can become of. You can mix and match abilities in unexpected ways to unlock and complete even more challenging quests. You can explore a vast overworld on your own or with a friend online. This game is not only beautifully drawn, but it's kinda crazy as well, just like your sister. Pumpkin Jack with more than 90% of positive review score on Steam, this hack and slash adventure platformer should grab your attention by its balls. Wait, what? Shut up, here you'll travel across dangerous landscapes in levels featuring alluring atmospheres, each crafted with vibrant color palettes and cool lighting effects. Here you must master the art of combo attacks, learn dodging and timing to survive dynamic real-time battles. You will unlock powerful weapons and solve puzzles that focus on physics. Use your flaming head to burn books, hammer some moles, and create pathways for magic spheres as each level introduces new challenges. You'll also find helpful companions to assist you on your journey, including an owl to guide you along, and a crow itching to assist you with long-range attacks. This game is meant for pure entertainment. Great visuals, interesting storyline and dynamic battles await you here. Also the humor is quite nice as well. Legend of Grimrock 2 this game is perfect for dungeon crawling fans because Legend of Grimrock 2 is one of the best there is. It has a modern execution but an old school heart. Sadly, only the second part is verified on Steam Deck, and the first one is completely unsupported. That is kinda weird. So here a group of prisoners have been shipwrecked on the secluded isle of Nex. The island is filled with ancient crumbled ruins, mysterious shrines, and vast underground network of dungeons and mines. So they want to escape and forget the vile crimes they may or may not have committed. They probably put pineapple in the potato salad and cooked steaks until they were well done. If that is so, just leave them to die, they are not worthy. Yeah, words of wisdom. Okay, I'm kidding, you are a generous god and you must help everyone in need. Yeah, except for those infidels. <laughs> so if the prisoners wish to make it out alive, they have to overcome all the challenges, form a team and descend through the ominous mountain. Although be warned that this game has one very annoying feature, you will be searching for hidden buttons all the time and that is not fun at all. Yes, your grace. In this kingdom management RPG, petitioners will arrive in the throne room each turn to ask for your advice and assistance. You will have to decide whether to help them with their problems or to conserve resources for more important matters. Your supplies are limited and not everyone has the kingdom's best interests at heart. You will not be alone in this task. You will hire generals, witches and hunters to aid your kingdom, prepare for battles and make alliances by satisfying the needs of lords and other kings. People on Steam are saying that the game makes you feel like a real king. although 
though it is a bit depressing. You know, many of your choices have grim consequences and you are personally responsible for all of that. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy In this third-person action-adventure game you will play as Star-Lord, and thanks to your bold yet questionable leadership you have persuaded an oddball crew of unlikely heroes to join you. Some jerk, surely not you, has set off a chain of catastrophic events, and only you can hold the unpredictable Guardians together long enough to fight off total interplanetary meltdown. For this you will have to use element blasters, tag team beatdowns, jet boot power dropkicks, even put pineapple into potato salad. Nothing is off limits. Well, I'm kidding, the last thing surely is. That is a jail time guaranteed. And if you think it's all going to plan, you will be in for a world of surprises. With the consequences of your actions guaranteed to keep the Guardians on their toes. The game is one of the most beloved Marvel Universe games with positive reviews hovering way above 90%. Metal Hellsinger. You'll kill demons to the rhythm of Metal and Vengeance on an infernal journey through the eight hells. This is a rhythm first-person shooter bursting with monsters, gorgeous weapons and heavy metal music rated for this game by amazing metal geniuses, like Serge Tankian for example. Yeah, Serge himself sings a new song created especially for this game, and you kill demons listening to it. The song was created with the idea behind it that it is meant to be listened to while killing demons. It is hard to wrap my head around this fact and how metal it actually is. So if you like fast-paced first-person shooter games like Shadow Warrior or Doom, search no more. Metal Hellsinger is what you need to kill your boredom with style. Jupiter Hell here time flows only when you act, just like in the famous Superhot. Although Jupiter Hell is a turn-based roguelike game where you get to kick demon butt on a space station. The retro graphics and creepy audio design create an atmosphere that's scarier than your mother-in-law when she's missing her favorite spoon for potato salad. And the gameplay is as tough as the steak you make. Yeah, the roguelike genre is here for a reason. You will die, 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 die and die again until you do not die, then repeat. But keep in mind that with a ton of weapons and abilities to choose from, you can mix and match until you find the perfect combo for yourself. And sure, the game can be unforgiving, but that's what makes it fun. Who needs a therapist when you can scream at your monitor and blame the game for all the mistakes you made in your life that literally lead you to playing this game? Although the game itself is very nice, more than 90% of reviews on Steam are positive. Scarlet Nexus so here in the far distant anime future, a psionic hormone was discovered in the human brain, granting people extra sensory powers and that changed the world as we knew it. As humanity entered this new era, deranged mutants known as others began to descend from the sky with a hunger for human brains. Highly resistant to conventional attack methods, extreme measures needed to be taken to battle the overwhelming threat and preserve humanity. Those with acute extrasensory abilities, known as psionics, were our only chance to fight the danger from above. So I guess it is you and your anime heroes named Yuito and Kasani. You will have to complete both of their anime stories to unlock all the anime mysteries of a brain punk future caught between technology and psychic abilities. Reviews are very positive, although people are saying that the game is quite generic and may not inspire you in any way. Mutant Year Zero – Road to Eden this is a tactical game that combines the turn-based combat of XCOM with real-time stealth and exploration of post-human world reclaimed by nature. And mutants. And by saying mutants, I don't mean human mutants. Those are all gone. Now smart animals rule the world. Uh, define smart. Well, you got me here. They are not always smart. They sometimes do stupid decisions because, you know, you are controlling them. Oh my god, how dare you? Shh, it's a joke. So, although animals can't speak here, it's definitely not a Disney kind of world. It's brutal and cruel and survival of the fittest is in progress. Here you must venture out of the city to explore the zone where one day you might find the Eden of Legends, the ancient heaven in the middle of hell. I guess with mountains of potato salad and rivers of cold beer. Maybe you will find your answers there. Then again, maybe not. Game has really beautiful graphics, great humor and an interesting story. Also very positive reviews on Steam. Darksiders Genesis this is a great game with great humor and very positive reviews on Steam. It is well balanced to play in co-op mode, but also fun in single player as well without any regrets. You, like me, probably have no friends anyway. Although I must warn you that you will do more shooting than bashing and stashing, but you will get a fair share of the latter as well. Gamers on Steam are praising the aesthetics, interesting story and fun gameplay, but are grumpy about controls and few almost unsolvable puzzles. Game has great graphics, a bit childish dialogues, terrible camera 
camera angles and no potato salad man class, which is a shame. Anyway, for me it gets 8 cold beers out of 10. Planet Zoo. Remember when you were a child and in a zoo you saw some dumb animal and then you said something like I want that, I wish I could keep it. And then your mother just slapped you and said It's a lion, it would eat you. And you were like No, I don't think so. Yeah, kids are dumb, but the point of this story is that now you can keep a lion. And giraffe, crocodile and elephant. And not one but as many as you want. And the funny thing is that you are just as unsuitable to keep them now as it was back then when you were a kid, all your animals would get sick and die. Or they will die because you'll forget to feed them or give them more cosmos. Well, I mean space. And it's a fun game if you are ready not to cry over imaginary animals and their imaginary deaths. Base game itself is very cheap, but it has like 8 or 9 DLC, so it will suck your wallet dry. Be careful. Batman The Telltale Series He'll make discoveries that will shatter Bruce Wayne's world and the already fragile stability of a corrupt Gotham City. Also, your choices will determine the fate of the Batman. Just like in Telltale's The Walking Dead series, here you can choose your own adventure and dive deep into this cool visual novel. The game includes 5 episodes and, as people on Steam are saying, this is a great adaptation with interesting characters of the Batman franchise. Voice acting is nice, the script is engaging and if you like games like that, it's almost a must-play. You know, seriously there aren't many great visual novels you can play, especially not on this level. One nitpicky thing that may discourage you is that if you choose a non-violent path, the game will probably fail to react accordingly in several situations, so just beat everyone and enjoy the story. Dungeons 3 You'll be able to unleash your dark side by creating a unique underground dungeon from an array of rooms, traps and structures. You can raise a pretty despicable army here. Your goal, of course, is to corrupt the land and destroy all things cute or even remotely good. Yes, you can visit the overworld here and, yes, let the terror thrive. The game has randomly generated levels, so it has great replayability. Isn't it awesome, friend? Don't you think so, friend? Notice how I called you a friend? It's because you are subscribed to my channel, right? Right? Anyways, people on Steam are saying that this game has tons of easter eggs and nerdy references. It's like it was made for us. Yeah, it was literally made for us, you genius. Oh, shut up. Conan Exiles This is an online multiplayer survival game with mounts and mounted combat set on the lands of Conan the Barbarian. He'll journey through a massive and seamless open world, from the rolling sand dunes of the southern desert to the mysterious eastern swamp and the snow-capped mountains of the frozen north. Climb anywhere and experience full freedom of exploration. In other words, it is an open world sandbox and you can play together with friends or, you know, with creepy strangers as you build your own home or even a shared city. You will have to survive freezing cold, explore loot-filled dungeons and develop your character from lowly peasant to a mighty barbarian. Also fight to dominate your enemies in epic siege wars. People on Steam are talking that the game is a bit buggy and that can be annoying, but it also has boobs in it, so for that you can forgive almost anything. Dark U Complete Edition Game tells you the story of Lloyd, a boy who becomes aware of the fact that he is dreaming. To Lloyd's misfortune, the dream quickly turns into a nightmare and all attempts to wake up end in failure. While exploring the darkest corners of his mind, Lloyd learns how to survive the nightmare by bending the laws of physics and manipulating the fluid fabric of the dream world. But the coolest thing is that this game has two DLCs, named The Tower and The Crypt, and they are both completely free. What is this generosity? I don't understand. I am I dreaming as well? Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition Made with the same Infinity Engine as a classic Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale is a more battle-oriented game. You'll find less side quests and less story, but you will enjoy an amazing atmosphere because the game is really detailed. Also, the party is entirely player-made with no other NPCs offering to join at any given moment. Although this is an enhanced edition, don't expect anything fancy or modern. Yeah, graphics are improved, quick loot is implemented, all the expansions are here and even quests you've never seen before. But those are not new quests, they were just cut off from the original release back in 2000s. So this remaster is like a new paint on an old building. The face is new, but the body is old and it plays like an old game as well. Be aware of that. Darkest Dungeon 
In this challenging turn-based roguelite RPG, you will recruit and train heroes and send them to battle in a variety of dungeons. Yeah, as always, send others to do your own job. The interesting part is that these said heroes are very, you know, human. In game they will battle not only enemies, but also stress, fear and lack of potato salad. By which I mean hunger. So you will uncover strange mysteries and pit the heroes against an array of fearsome monsters. Game may not look like it's a lot of fun, but it is, believe me. Even though people love this game, at times it can seem punishing and unfair. But in general, Darkest Dungeon is fun if you like numbers, strategy and turn-based combat. Also, players are seeing many similarities with HP Lovecraft stories, like The Alchemist and famous Call of Cthulhu as well, not to mention overall dark and gloomy vibes. The Wolf Among Us this is a gritty, violent and mature thriller based on the award-winning Fables comic books. You'll discover that a brutal, bloody murder is just a beginning where every decision can have enormous consequences. And it's not only what you choose to do will affect your story, but when you choose to do it as well. You don't need to know anything about the comics this game is based on, because events in this story are set before the events seen in the first book. And this game gives you an option to beat up practically anyone you don't like. Sadly, you can't import that energy-sucking co-worker of yours in this game, but hey, you can beat him up in real life instead. I mean, if you are stronger than him. If not, <laughs> just smile and blame your genes. Kenshi this is a free-roaming, squad-based RPG focusing on open-ended sandbox gameplay. You can be a trader, a thief, a rebel, a warlord, a slave, or just food for the cannibals. The freedom is here and it's up to you how you would use it. You can research new equipment and craft new gear, purchase and upgrade your own buildings to use as safe, fortified havens when things go bad, or use them to start up a business. Well, it's a sandbox game after all. You can aid or oppose the various factions in the world while striving for the strength and wealth necessary to simply survive in the harsh desert. You will train your men up from puny victims to master warriors, carry your wounded squadmates to safety and get them all home alive. The game is purely single player and it's an owner of overwhelmingly positive reviews left by tens of thousands of people. The Inner World – The Last Wind Monk Welcome to the strange world of Asposia. Here the Flutnos dynasty has been watching over the land for centuries. In secret they fill the world with light and life. But one shady trader for odds and ends has led all the Asposians astray, making them believe that the dynasty of Flutnoses is in cahoots with dark forces. Seriously, who knows what this weird family is doing day in, day out? The only one who could stop evil trader is the heir to the Flutnos throne, Mr. Robert. With a huge dose of enthusiasm, but little to no idea what he is actually doing, he embarks on an adventure to find the legendary last wind monk. So basically you will take control of this expedition and in the process make everything right. Or worse, way worse. Tomb Raider it is in the 80th place among the best rated Steam games of all time. Yeah, I was surprised as well. So it's fair to say that this is the best Tomb Raider game ever released. And if you were thinking about playing some game from this franchise but couldn't decide where to start, there is your answer. Start with this one. I probably don't even have to say that this game is a proud owner of an overwhelmingly positive review score. Although Tomb Raider is quite short, you can probably beat it in one weekend over two longer sessions of gameplay. That also makes it perfect for those who don't like games with 50 or more more hours of story. Weird Vest You'll discover a dark fantasy reimagining of the Wild West, where lawmen and gunslingers share the frontier with creepy creatures. You will journey through the story of a group of atypical heroes, written into legend by the decisions you make. Each journey is unique and tailored to the actions taken. A series of high-stakes adventures where everything counts and the world reacts to the choices you make. You'll be often faced with brutal choices and consequences that can't be undone. Like, you know, when you put too much salt in your potato salad, you can't take it out. Well, actually you can make more potato salad without salt and mix everything together, so there is no moral here, just carry on. Assassin's Creed Odyssey if you are used to old-school Assassin's Creed games, keep in mind that Odyssey isn't like the first titles, and among your enemies you will encounter various monsters and mythological beings from legends, like Medusa for example. The game really has some witchery vibes. Here you will also have weapons with supernatural abilities like increased strength or the ability to instantly knock out an opponent's shield. So here you will explore ancient Greece, from lush vibrant forests to volcanic islands and bustling cities, and start a journey in a world shaped by gods and men. Here decisions 
sequence will impact how your odyssey unfolds. You can play through multiple endings thanks to the dialogue system and the choices you make. Customize your gear, ship and special abilities to become a legendary ass, Asson. People on Steam are praising smooth mechanics and great visuals, although the story is like your cousin, a bit dull and naive. Far Cry 5 here you will spill rivers of blood and your victims will drown in their own liquids because you are awesome and they suck. Your task is to stand up to cult leader Joseph Seed and his siblings, to spark the fires of resistance and liberate the besieged community. In other words, you will have to get rid of fanatics without any political correctness. You can play alone or in two-player co-op in this vast open world. Use a huge arsenal of weapons from rocket launchers to shovels and take control of iconic muscle cars, ATVs, planes and more to engage the cult forces in epic fights. The bad thing is, as always, Ubisoft launcher with all the DRM problems, so it seems like the company treats you like a thief in advance. And paradoxically, you know where you could find the game without DRM? On various pirate sites. They removed it. So what is the point of punishing us, paying customers, when pirates can enjoy the game without any stuff like that? You suck, Ubisoft. Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters a nice title for turn-based game lovers. Here you will lead humanity's greatest weapon, the Grey Knights, against the corrupting forces of chaos in this brutal and fast-paced RPG. Yeah, somehow turn-based can be fast-paced as well. Deal with it. So here you will root out and put a stop to an insidious plot to infect the galaxy with a bloom, an intergalactic cosmic plague capable of rotting worlds into oblivion. Armored with fate, shielded by devotion, your company's very existence is rooted in mystery and forced with mind wipes and executions. He will experience life in the 41st millennium and follow the journey of these elite warriors in a narrative-driven gameplay. Far Changing Tides It is absolutely without any doubt a work of art. Hey, you said fart. <laughs> a work of fart. Oh, shut up. This is an atmospheric vehicle adventure that follows the emotional journey of a boy and his ship as he embarks on a voyage to find a new home. You will sail stormy waters, dive unknown depths and explore forgotten ruins in a beautifully realized world of flood. The game is filled with different landscapes, sun-scorched, dusty plains, stormy skies and high seas. You will have to crack many puzzles as well and enjoy interesting mechanics. Also, I can't be silent about a very cool soundtrack that reacts to your actions, amplifies key moments and creates an atmosphere. Really cool. People on Steam are saying that the game is super chill and puzzles are not mind-bending, so if you are like me, you know, a bit dumber, you'll be okay as well. And it also has a beautiful ending. Jurassic World Evolution 2 Here you can build your very own Jurassic Park just like in the first part, but a bit more beautiful, fancier and a bit better. You know that number at the end of the game's name has to mean something, and it means more species of dinosaurs as well, like at least two. So at first it's all about fun, interesting creatures and happy customers, until some brown substance from the bottom of Beerosaurus hits the fan. And by that I mean that life always finds the way, and that is kinda the opposite of life for everyone else in your park. You you may think that the raptors will escape the cage and will start feasting on your customers, but the reality is way more cruel. There is almost no way that the first human eaten in your beautiful park by a potato raptor would be just a terrible accident. You know, the fault of cheap fans or stupid worker for getting to close the gates. Nah, it will be you. You will save the game and then let the creatures go. Because after a while you will get bored. And only blood can entertain you. <laughs> Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition you will experience the final chapter of Lara's origin as she is forged into the Tomb Raider we all know. This version includes the base game, all 7 DLC challenge tombs, all downloadable weapons, outfits and skills. Here you'll have to survive and thrive in one of the deadliest places on Earth and master an unforgiving jungle setting in order to survive. Also explore underwater environments filled with crevasses and deep tunnel systems. You'll have to use the jungle to your advantage, strike suddenly and disappear like a jaguar or, you know, like your money on every Steam sale, use dirt as camouflage and disseminate fear in enemies to sow chaos. Yeah, the game's description makes an impression that you will play not as Lara Croft, but as a predatory vampire monster, to say the least. And now, thank you for watching and don't forget that in my channel you can find hundreds of videos like that with new ones released almost every day. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!